Well, hello, Stampers. It's the Pampered Stamper, and welcome to Cheer Corner. It's Monday. Happy Monday to you. And did you have a nice Mother's Day if you're a mother? I hope so. I had the tail end of my Mother's Day just now. Um, five kids, five calls from uh, Canada to the Netherlands. It's uh, it's pretty special. And then I had company yesterday too, so I had to cut one of the calls short. So I just finished a lovely phone call with my oldest daughter, Stephanie, who first made me a mom. And so I'm like, oh my goodness, I still have to get everything ready. So it's a little bit crazy. I did have everything ready. Everything is ready on my table, but it's probably not quite as organized as it should be. But I am super excited to share some fun, fun cards with you today. Um, I don't know if you've seen it online and I will share the links, but there's a, a really lovely kit that actually involves no stamping at all. But of course, I'm going to change it so that there is stamping involved and even a fun technique. So I hope that I inspire you today with this um, kit. And I one of the things that inspired me about this kit is that one of my customers, one of my few customers in the Netherlands, ordered this kit and she sent me a picture of her daughter making it. And, and then she told me later that she thinks her kids are addicted to card making now and that she was going to get a special card for Mother's Day. And it just made me so happy. So that is the beauty of kits, that it makes it really easy for people who've never stamped before to make something beautiful. So are you ready to have a look? Now, you're going to see more. Like you, you're, What you're seeing now is the blends that I have made laid ready. Isn't that just great? And you're seeing a little glimpse of the cards and a little glimpse of the pieces. So... This is the kit. It's called Saying Thanks. And so on the weekend, or before the weekend, I made these three cards. And I really, really love them. I took some pictures. I think I'm making a reel. So that reel will be up on Instagram tomorrow. And I'm going to show you some of the pieces that I have left. There's these black little labels that are in English and in French and in German and in Dutch. So it's great if you have friends in different countries, you can do that. So I made this card in Dutch. Hashtika lief van je, dank je. Super nice from you, thank you. And so that's the rainbow card, and it comes with these really great envelopes. So I want you to be thinking now, who are you going to send this card to? So here, there's the thank you, but I want to use a stamp set. And this is the stamp set that we're going to use today. I love this stamp set. It was designed by my friend Natalie Travis from Utah. And I was playing around a little bit to see what it looks like colored. See, so I just stamped this leaf a couple of times and it looks really, really nice. So that inspired me. And here is the second card. It's a thanks. Thanks, you're the best. And then the third card is this one with the hearts. I appreciate you. So I made, well, no, I'm not going to show you because that will give it away. So let's start with the rainbow card. Okay, so we're going to start with this card and we're going to transform it into something else. So I used, may the Lord bless and keep you, this stamp. And then I used this punch right here. And I stamped it. And I suppose I, we could do this. Let's see. This is where the lack of organization comes in, okay? Because I went, I found out that my cousin had surgery. So I went to the bakery. I bought him his favorite pastry and I went and had coffee with him today. I'm just going to grab a piece of white cardstock. I really didn't have time for that because I, I had a busy meeting this morning and then I knew I had this. But sometimes you just have to put people first. He was home alone. So I thought, you know what, my people will understand. And I'm just going to pop in on Facebook a minute to see if anybody has joined me so far. All right, let's see. So if you're watching this later on YouTube, have a little bit of patience since this is also a Facebook Live. Um, I try not to fill it with too much um, hello to people because I know that can be annoying. So um, I don't see any comments yet. I'm just going to grab a piece of white cardstock, okay? All right, uh, that didn't take too long. So here is the piece of white cardstock because it's really important for you to see exactly how it works. So we're going to take the, um, I'm just going to go off of Facebook now. Um, so I will go back to all your comments later. I'm going to go with the Lord bless and keep you. And because we're not using a stamp apparatus, it doesn't, it's no longer something that we carry. I think it's super important to keep your ink pads really juiced up. Now I'm looking to see, I'm going to use this piece of cardboard to give it a little bit of squish. 
And let's see, I took my black ink pad with to Germany on Saturday and it's still sitting in the bag. Yeah, you know what? We have troubles. I'm going to have to use, I don't want to use stays on. You know what? If this is an example, I'm going to use Misty Moonlight. So we're not going to use this one, but I want to show you. So ink up your stamp, take a look at it, make sure it's nice and inked up. And now I'm going to stamp it right on the side. One, two, three, four, five. There we have it. Then we're going to take our two and three eighths inch circle punch. And we're going to do this. And I want to go a little bit. I don't want it too far. There. So now I have this. That's what I wanted. And take a peek. We're going to take our rainbow card and we're going to put this like so. So then you see just a little bit of the blue circle still sticking around. And then we're going to, now just with that alone, it's a little bit blah. So we have to step it up. Now I want you to think about who you're going to give this card to because the purpose of Cheer Corner is that I make a card and you get to choose who it goes to. Now I think that's a little bit crooked so I'm just going to go like this and straighten it out a little bit. And now of course you're thinking now it's sticking off the side of the card and you are co completely correct. So I can just open it up and just trim off that little piece which I will do. Anyway, I firmly believe that Happy Mail is very therapeutic, and so I think that we can change the world together one card at a time, and that's what Cheer Corner is all about. So we have this. Now let's take a look at our stamp set again. See, we have these blossoms, and they go in two different sides, so you can do it on either side of a circle, on either side of the saying. It's very helpful that they go both ways. This, yeah, the person who designed this has sold and stamped a lot. So she knows that this is necessary. So I already did this and I stamped it and I cut it out. Look how pretty that is. And that's just going to go here and that just makes the, that's all it needs. That's all this card needs. And what I want to do is instead of putting it on flat, I'm going to see if we have some mini dimensionals. I have mini black dimensionals. Okay, I don't have any mini white dimensionals, but look, I have these. So you just cut them apart. So and now I'll just put a few of them. They're like foam with the sticky backing and they just raise up your stamped element a little bit to, and it just makes such a difference. Just a little trick like that just makes you look very expert. And trust me, when I first moved to the Netherlands, I could not find these in any craft store. So I know that in Canada, the dollar store has them, but they're very thick and they're very stiff. They just don't work as well. But you know what? You get to choose that for yourself. There. How nice is that? And then we could add some gems. And I happen to have some right here. I could also use the gems that come in the kit. They're little square iridescent gems. But I kind of want to use these round ones. So just add a little bit of glitter. And you know what? Maybe we'll use both. big one and then we'll use a few of these little square ones too. One just went flying onto my ruler. I think I like that. Just kind of mix it up a little bit. So these have adhesive backing already. There's a little tiny glue dot on there which is really nice. There. So there's our first card with the, the rainbow on its side. I love it. So here you can see the difference. Here is the card that I made and then here is the card that came in the kit. So the next one we're going to do is the one that has all the dots. Uh, now I have to find it. I have the one that, this is the base card. Okay, that's what it looks like. Oh yeah, here it is. And this was a big thanks. But I wanted to do something different. So I used the um, tailor-made tags and I stamped it. So you can do the Lord bless and keep you or you can do trust in the Lord with all your heart. So what I wanted to do with this one is just color it in some of the colors that match with the card. So I'm taking my sweet sorbet with the fine tip and I'm just going to color in the little dots. 
And with Stampin' Up, coordination is everything. That's what makes this company so wonderful. Their markers, their blends, their cardstock, their paper, their ink, everything coordinates. So that leaves you with, it makes it really easy to make nice things. So even when you make something simple, because your ribbon and your paper, your cardstock all coordinates, it just is very, very lovely. And um, so then it doesn't have to be fancy to be beautiful. Um, and if you're a scrapbooker, you've had that, that experience of finding or having cards or, or pictures and you're looking for a certain color and then you find it in cardstock and then you can't find patterned paper to go with it. Well, look no further. Stampin' Up! has you covered. So now I'm going with the light parakeet party. And, and it just looks really nice. It doesn't take long. I just thought, you know what? I don't have to stamp everything. I just sometimes it's good to see um, the difference. Now here we have parakeet party metallic ribbon. And I think I'm going to add this color as well. This is Tahitian Tide. And both of those colors are in the cardstock. I'm just going to close up my ink pad for a minute. I don't want to get my fingers in that. Now, I don't know if I'm going to get this through that little hole. I want to put them both together. So I'm making a loop and I'm squeezing it a little bit. And let's see if we can do this. Yes, it worked. Okay. I'm making it a bit longer. That should do. And I'm going to trim my ends. Oh, this is not, these aren't ribbon scissors. There. And then look, I'm just going to push this through the loop, take all the ends together, put them through the loop, and then pull. And then this is probably too long, which is unfortunate. I hate trimming, but I waited too long. And maybe I'll leave it like this. So now I'm just going to take this, put a few dimensionals on the back, here, and pop it up on my card. So when you nominate somebody to get this one of these cards, let me know which card you want. And I have to say, I've been a bad girl. I didn't have stamps. I didn't have the right stamps in the house. So my cheer corner cards from last week still have to go in the mail. So that's going to happen tomorrow. So look. I kind of like it like that on a bit of an angle so that I see some of the little dots on that side too. And... You know, I could leave it like this and then just put them on like with a with a glue dot and have them loop. That might be a good idea. You know what? I'm going to try it. So I'm going to take my glue dots. Oh, they're in my Germany bag. So I'll be sharing projects that I made in Germany. It was really interesting to be in an event where I didn't understand the language being spoken. And the, the German demonstrator, Jenny Pauli, she did speak some English and that was really nice but um, the language of stamps is universal so I could follow the examples and it was just nice to see how they do things so I'm putting two glue dots right here beside each other and I'm just going to press the green ones on first the parakeet party are going to go on the first glue dot I don't want to leave the glue dot exposed because then it's going to stick to things and then we're going to loop those around and put them on the second glue dot. There. I think that looks pretty cool. And I'm going to leave it just like that. Maybe maybe trim this a little bit. I need to get my ribbon scissors. So my ribbon scissors always have a piece of ribbon tied to them so that it reminds me and everyone else that those scissors are only to be used on ribbon. And you see how easily that cut? Paper dulls your scissors, so always designate one pair of scissors to be um, a ribbon scissors. And it looks kind of nice with that glue dot. You've got your ribbon sticking up, and it looks really cool. Okay, now I'm going to show you the last card. It's this one, and it came with a piece that is separate, like this. Let me see. I have it. No, I don't have it in Dutch. It came with this. This is actually the front that you pop up on the card, and it gets popped up on this card but I wanted to do something different I wanted to um, use this card and put a layer on it so that's what the three inch by four inch piece of white cardstock is so we're gonna lay that here and then we're going to put this on here like so line that up 
Now I should have, you know what, there's going to be half hearts. I should have a piece of painter's tape or something to hold it down, but I do not. So we're not going to let that stop us. I'm going to start with sweet sorbet. The nice thing about having done this already is that I can cheat. I've got a cheater sheet here for the colors to use. So I'm going to start with sweet sorbet. Now I don't have to use those colors. And you know, I don't know if we're going to. I'm going to look again for a minute on Facebook to see if I need to respond to any comments. Oh, hi, Kylie. Yes, the three boxes of these cards, they are beautiful. Well, I'm glad. Thank you for sharing that. Okay. Oh, and Yvonne, I see that you are on as well. And guess what? I have great shame. Your card has been sitting on my desk in the envelope, ready to go. And I didn't have any international stamps. So it's still sitting there. It is coming again tomorrow. I'm going to make that trip and do it all. So I'm just inking up with sweet sorbet and you can clean your brushes. Okay. So I'm going to do this one really dark and then I'm going to continue without inking again. And that way I'll get variegated colors. Now the little mini blending brushes are great for this because they don't take up as much room. I'll, sh I'll compare the big one. This is how big the big one is. Okay. So the mini is about a third of the size, maybe even a quarter. Because I first I thought when they came out with the minis, I thought, what do I need a mini for? Um, the big one's big enough. It's good enough. But you know what? The mini is really helpful. I'm just going to lay this block on here so it doesn't move on me. It still moved a little bit. The next color is going to be Highland Heather. Although, you know what? Before I do that, I'm going to... There. I'm going to do this little one here at the bottom a little bit. Yeah, it's a little bit darker. Oh, I've got my ribbon in the way. There, we'll move the ribbon. Okay. Now we're going to get a new blending brush and I'll, I'll clean them later. You can just, you can do it in soapy water. You can do it in plain water. They will get cleaner if you do it right away. If you wait for weeks and weeks and weeks and months, they'll still clean, but they won't clean perfectly. Okay. So Highland Heather's next. You just open it. There's a little ridge here at the bottom. Up you go and then slide it like this. Okay. And blending brush number two. Here we go. And I'm going to start here. And then go down and it'll be a softer color. Go from the top again and then down and around. And a little bit on this one too. There. I keep starting on that one on the top to make sure it's darker. Now we're going to go with Parakeet Party. And it, it's just really, it's really happy. As soon as it's really happy, it makes me really happy to, to see something and, and to do a different use for it. As soon as I saw those hearts, I thought, oh, that's going to make a lovely uh, stencil. And, and it has. I'll show you another finished card in a minute. So now Parakeet Party. Hold on tight. And I'm going to start darker on this one and then work my way up. And then we're going to do it here. Sorry about my hand in the way. I, I should move this there. That's a little bit better. Now I'm going to start on this block corner here and then go down. Now we have bubble bath yet and boho blue. Now I have to decide. I think I can probably use this one for the bubble bath with the purple. We'll see. Or maybe not. Maybe, you know what? I'm going to use a big one. And here we go. You can see I have to be careful with this big one that I don't go too far. All right, and now we're just going to use the boho blue on the bottom two hearts. And then you get to have the big reveal. I'm going with the big one again. It is still nice to have at least two sets of blending brushes so that you aren't limited with your colors. Because when your color is fresh, when your ink is fresh, it will bleed over to the next color. And here we go. that one 
And are you ready? Let me close off my ink pads and then we're going to have a look and see what we created. Maybe I should keep the blue. Yeah, I'm going to keep the boho blue open and I'll tell you why in a minute. I think I'm going to. Okay, are we ready? Look at that. Isn't that nice? And then here's the card that I made. This is how I got the idea. This is the card I made. It says, Gebent and Schop. That means you're a, you're a deer, you're a honey, you're a treasure. I thought it would be nice to put it on here to make a card. But then there's not enough of this showing, so I made it a quarter inch smaller. So this card front is three and a quarter by four and a quarter, and this is three by four. See? And I could maybe trim off a little bit more off the sides because I see that this is bigger. So I'm going to trim a little bit off. I don't know if I have enough to do a quarter inch, but we'll trim off a little bit anyway. I won't be able to do a quarter inch, but I'm doing that much. It's about an eighth. It will give me just a little bit more room. I was thinking about sponging the edges, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it clean and crisp. I could do a little black edge, but we're not going to do that either. We're going to keep it simple, and I don't want to take up more space, I think. Oh, my goodness, it's so hard. Yeah, I'm going to leave it. Nice and white. Some dimensionals we need. The dimensionals have disappeared on me. That means, you know what that means? It means they're under something. Yeah, they were. They were under some ink pads. They were under um, my, my uh, glue dot box. We learn to cross craft in piles, don't we? That's okay. Don't beat yourself up about it. Some people can do that easily, and other people, they just break out in hives thinking about it. They need to craft in perfect order. And either way is fine. You do you. Um, it is true, though, that when you're crafting on uneven things, you will not get a nice damp image. So you do want to keep a little bit of space with a flat section for stamping. So now we have this. We're going to center that as best we can. Now, I did not measure this exactly yet. And so it doesn't matter. Now, what I want to do is say I appreciate you. So this would make a great, they're all great um, cheer corner cards and I think I like it just like that off the side and you know what might be really nice too is to add a little piece of ribbon in behind. So this is what we're going to do. We're first going to put a piece of tear and tape in behind, okay? So turn that upside down. Tear and tape has like a piece that you have to take off. So you take it, you tear it, you put it on your piece like so, and it's super strong. Give it a good rub, and then you peel the backing off. Well, I have very short nails. And then, so now we still have our appreciate you. See, we turn it around. We're going to make a bit of a loop, but I'm not going to run it I'm just going to kind of make a big X, so, and then, oops, loop it around. I'm getting a hot flash. I might have to take my sweater off. Okay. It's rainy in the Netherlands today. And then I'm going to make another loop here, there. And then a straight end coming out the other end. Let's see, just make another loop like so. And then I've used up, I've covered up all my adhesive. Now, to the rescue come the ribbon scissors, see, and we'll trim that. And then on the back, we need to find those dimensionals again. Did I finally put them under something again? I did. This time they were under this. I know. I'm like, I need a, an assistant the way the doctor does in surgery and have someone that hands me things. Then it would be great. There we go. Oh, this is so pretty. Look. There. I appreciate you. And see how that green ribbon just ties it in? You could add gems or not. And um, now I still have an extra one here. And I think, you know what? Why don't we color that so you can see how pretty it is? And I don't know if I have another one of these so that I can make a third one. I have lots of envelopes. Here are the envelopes. They're really pretty too. So this is a great kit. I have to say I'm super happy with it. Um, I'm still looking for the other Dottie card. 
but I don't see it. So I think we're out of luck and the sweater has to go for a minute. I promise that's all that's coming off. And now let's take a look at this. For this one, I want to use the, um, this one is called Dark Oak Orchid Oasis. So yeah, for this one, I'm going to use the Dark Orchid Oasis in the middle here. And you'll see how lovely these colors are together. And then a light on the outside. I think for the other one, I did it the exact opposite, and that's okay. It's a very subtle difference anyway. And you know what? I'm not doing a beautiful job of coloring either. But that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Although, of course, we're always happy when it is. But the colors just really pop. Our blends are just so rich. And the color goes on so easily. I, I can honestly say I recommend these with all my heart. It just is such a lovely, lovely product. Now, Parakeet Party was hiding. Is this dark or light? It says right on here. So this is dark. And I'm just going on the veins of the leaves with the dark and along the bottom. And for the wee little leaves, I'm doing the whole thing in dark. But for the bigger leaves, I like to show a bit of contrast. But you see how lovely these colors are together? So you could even put this, tuck this tag inside your card. I'm, I'm, I've lost my, my light parakeet party. Oh, here it is. It's under a great big pile of stuff. There we go. So now I've got the light one. And I'm just going to fill it in. Go over top of the dark and pull that color through. You don't have to press hard. And honestly, it's a perfect activity to do on a rainy day because when you get busy with coloring and stamping, you don't notice the weather. Isn't that nice? And then again, we can just tie it through with the Parakeet Party ribbon and you'll just see what a nice product you get. I'm just going to leave that loop there. I'm going to cut that. Take the two ends, put it through your loop, and pull. And then you could just tuck it in your card here. Like so, even for this card, you could put this inside, and then they have that to put as a bookmark. And then it just goes in the card. So please nominate someone for this card. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that uh, I would like to hear what your favorite card is. Do you like this one with the polka dots? you like this one with the hearts. I didn't make this one, so it shouldn't really count. Um, do you like the plain thanks that came in? Or the rainbow? There. So here it is in Dutch, and here it is in English. And then this little guy in Dutch. And this little card, this card comes in the assorted memories and more cards. You get 10 big ones and 10 small ones. So Anyway, that's a wrap, guys. Did I show you this one? I think I did. I just want to say thank you so much. Thanks for joining me. Um, I'm going to pop onto Facebook and see. I need Kylie. This is so true. Whenever I have an event with um, my team, which we do at least twice a year, we do a retreat. And Kylie's been to all of my retreats. And whenever I lose something, Kylie finds it and it's just so nice. Um, so it's just great having someone who understands and who has eyes for that kind of thing. She's my rock when I'm squirrely. So 28 degrees on Vancouver Island yesterday. Oh, that's so lovely, Yvonne. Enjoy the gorgeous weather and sorry that your card is um, a bit delayed. Um, I'm sorry about that. I, it's, it's ready to go. My heart is in the right place. I think it's worth the wait. But I promise it's going in the mail this week. I have to get stamps. And, you know, in Canada, I have a whole roll of stamps. I get them at a discount. And in, in the Netherlands, I haven't done that yet. So I'm going to plan. Um, if you are watching this video later on YouTube, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you're watching on Facebook, comment and share. It's so nice. I, it, I really need you to help uh, spread the word. It's word of mouth is precious. So don't forget to nominate someone for Cheer Corner. And I will see you. I won't see you in person next week. Next week, I'm going to pre record the cheer quarter video because next week I will be on the Royal Caribbean cruise to Norway with all the Stampin' Up! Achievers. 
big thank you to you, my customers and team members, for making that possible. I know I work my butt off for it, but um, I could I could work as hard as I want. But if I don't get um, team members join my team, and if I don't have customers buy my products, I can't earn an incentive trip. So I am deeply, deeply grateful for each one of you. And I, if you don't have a demonstrator already, I would love to be your demonstrator. If you need help finding links to purchase the products that I've used, please let me know. I'm more than happy. You're never bothering me. Um, don't worry about the time difference. I put my phone on snooze at night to do not disturb. So you can message me at all hours of the night and I will see it in the morning. Okay. Thanks for joining me. Have a super day. Bye.